Hey guys, uh, welcome to your love reading. This is going to be for Cancer for your November 2023. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign. So we're going to take a look and see what's next for you guys in love. Uh, and then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, apply this to your own unique situation. You may switch the roles if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective cancer people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post, when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok and also on Instagram, the links for those are in the description box below. I do also post readings on there too, okay? So, um, cancer. Cancer, tell me about cancer. What's next in love for cancer? What's next in love for cancer? And cancer, this, this could be you dealing with someone right now, or this could be, you know, that you're not dealing with anyone. So like I said, apply this to your own unique situation, okay? Uh, we have the King of Pentacles and the Six of Wands, okay? So when it comes to your career and finances, you guys are feeling really good about it, very, very successful at what you guys are doing. You guys are getting a lot of recognition for the work that you're doing here. Now, this could also be an indication that a lot of people are noticing you. Uh, people are finding you attractive at this time. Okay, uh, four of pentacles in the Hierophant, Taurus energy. <clears throat> in the three of swords and the four of wands. You know, um, one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like a lot of you guys are at this time are not really open to having a relationship at this time. Because I feel like you guys are still trying to recover from some sort of heartbreak here. Okay, uh, you know, I do feel like when it comes to, you know, opening yourself up to love at this time, I feel like it's, it's not really going to happen. Uh, you know, I just feel like you're still working and healing that heart chakra. Okay, some of you guys might have just gone through a divorce here. Um, this is interesting because I feel like almost like you guys look better now than you did when you were with somebody. Uh, wh whoever this person is, you know, I do feel like there was someone here that broke your heart. Uh, but right now, moving forward, I feel like more so you're focusing on healing, you're focusing on your stability, your happiness, your career, your finances. Some of you guys, some of you guys could be saving money for a new home. The King of Pentacles and the Sun, Leo Energy, the Six of Wands, and the Page of Swords in the reverse. Yeah, you know, some for me, that Page of Swords, you know, when it comes to love, this is someone that goes on those dating websites, they're looking for people, chatting with people, getting to know people, but you're not really interested in looking at this time. Yeah, you're not even curious of what, what's out there. You're just focusing on your own happiness with the sun card here, Leo energy. Tell me the four of pentacles, the four of pentacles and the hangman. Okay, seems like you guys are doing a lot of deep inner work, trying to gain perspective. Seems like you've been enlightened through, you know, some experiences that you've been through, especially when it comes to love. I do feel like there was a situation here that was really heartbreaking to you. Yeah, it seems like, you know, I feel like some here let you down, some here, um, some here let you down, some here disappointed you. Now, you know, it could be like, you could apply this to your own timeline. Like we are taking a look and see, you know, what is coming next, but you know, it, this could have already happened. Okay, three of swords. We have the Eight of Pentacles, the Four of Wands, and the Three of Cups. Yeah, you know, one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like you guys are just really focusing on your work, really focusing on, you know, being around people that are really supportive of you. You know, I do feel like your luck has completely changed, okay? Or that, you know, there's just been a huge karmic shift here. You know, it could be a situation that you dealt with somebody uh, where, you um, you know, you might have taken on this person's karma, but you know, right now in this very moment, yeah, your luck is changing. Things are getting better here for you. Okay. What else do we have here for cancer? What else does cancer need to know? Look out for work on for November, 2023 when it comes to love. All right. Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. So we have the, we have the wheel of fortune again and the 10 of swords. So what we have here moving forward, you are going to recover from some sort of major betrayal that you went through here. Okay. Yeah, I, I do feel like you were dealing with someone here that put you in a third-party situation. This person's 
incredibly, incredibly promiscuous. I feel like, you know, you are moving on from this person, okay? Uh, perhaps this person's still stuck on you. Yeah, perhaps this person's still stuck on you. Perhaps this person's missing you or something like that. But yeah, you're definitely choosing, making a decision to free yourself from this person. Emancipate yourself from this person. You know, so I feel like, you know, your feelings towards this person has changed. You're not thinking about this person anymore, but maybe this person's thinking about you. Yeah, maybe this person's thinking about you, but there's definitely healing. There's definitely recovery that's happening here with the star card, Aquarius energy. Let's see, tell me the 10 of swords here, the 10 of swords and the death card, Scorpio energy. Yeah, um, I, I do feel like a tough cycle is really coming to a close here. Yeah, I, I feel like this has been weighing very, very, very heavily on your shoulders here, and I feel like all that weight is coming off. So I'm with the Queen of Wands, the Queen of Wands, yeah. Um, you are dealing with someone here who's incredibly manipulative. And I feel like this person still holds the cards in their hands to control you here. I don't feel like it's gonna happen. I just feel like you know better at this point here. Yeah, whoever this is, I do feel like, you know, when it comes to love, what's next is that this person might be coming with some sort of communication. Uh, communication, creating this like fantasy, you know, creating something that's not real. And I feel like this person has done this in the past, where this person had made false promises, creating this like dream scenario thing where it just never happens. Uh, yeah, I just feel like, you know, with the Five of Cups here, you've been let down over and over and over and over again. And, you know, over time, I feel like you started to feel like you were going crazy. Yeah. Uh, you know, I feel like this person was the catalyst that led to the separation, but I feel like what made you feel like you were going crazy was that this person was, you know, transferring it over to you, projecting it onto you, using you as a scapegoat or something like that, you know, and I feel like you just don't want to be this person's scapegoat, yeah. They want to create like a narrative where you were to blame for the separation here. You know, you were to blame for this breakup. But, you know, I do feel like this was like a, a back and forth. It, it was a back and forth that was going on for a while here. And I feel like you're finally breaking free. I feel like you're finally drawing the line with this person here. Okay. And it's so interesting because I do feel like there's a friend that you're dealing with here that's been talking to you about this. And, you know, I feel like this person is really protective of you. You know, it could be a girlfriend, a, you know, a girlfriend or a boyfriend who's a friend, okay, that's been helping you along the way. We have a ton of cups here, a ton of wands. Yeah, you know, I feel like your friend has been asking you to let this go. You know, I, I'm, I'm also getting the sense that, you know, at some point, you and this friend might turn into a couple here. I wouldn't say it's going to be in the immediate future. I would say it will be another year, two years, three years or so. There's going to be more between you guys, okay? There's going to be more between you guys regarding this friend that has been protecting you against this other person that you've been dealing with here in the past, all right? So, Cancer, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.